Coach Turgeon will start us off with an opening statement on today's game, and then we'll open things up for questions. Coach? Uh, obviously, really proud of my guys. Um, they were dialed in yesterday in practice. You could see it coming. Um, our defense was terrific. We were, they were dialed into the personnel and who we had to guard and how we had to guard and, and um, did a great job. We did a great job on Henry all night, doubling them and different things. We flew around and and then I, we made a step defensively boxing out. You know, we were physical, uh, challenged the guys to, to be physical and don't get shoved around. And it's not your typical Michigan State team. They're playing four guards. So uh, they usually play bigger and stronger. Uh, so a little bit easier to rebound against that lineup uh, than typical teams. But that's their best team right now. Uh, really proud of Daryl. Daryl didn't practice all week. And, you know, I lost sleep last night. I was like, ah, I shouldn't play him. But, he woke up this morning, he said he was feeling really good, wanted to give it a go, and shoulder was great the whole game. So um, really, really good. Eric Ola was his best all-around game since he's been here. He, he guarded, he boxed out, played shots, ran the team, he scored, made free throws. He was terrific. So a lot of guys played really well. We got more guys playing better, really helping us, and you just see our confidence growing. Start with Daniel Oyafusi from the Baltimore Sun. Hey, Mark, um, I, I know lately you guys have really been aggressive and driving to the basket, but um, obviously I, I, it doesn't really start that way for you guys this season. Can you really pinpoint a time where you maybe like talk to the guys and really got them to dial in on being aggressive and um, getting in the paint and, uh, you know, being the aggressor? Well, it's something we talk about, um, but we, we made changes, um, which has made everything better. Uh, we, we made changes that worked for a while. We wanted Illinois, we wanted Wisconsin with those changes. And then everybody got dialed into it. Now we made more changes. Uh, and this is a little bit hard to scout. And it's really opened the floor up. It's opened up, gets everybody involved. Um, but we get our space and we get it moving and we, we change sides with it and then we drive it. So we always talk, we've always talked about it. We've just gotten better at it. And uh, we didn't do a good a job as playing inside out today until the very end. You know, Keem made the shot, um, but um, that's something we work on a lot. So we're just we're just getting better. You know, it was the last step. You know, it's like we worked, we fi figured out the defense first, and we got that going. And we keep we're getting a little bit better in defense every time we play. Our rotations are better, guys are understanding quicker. Uh, but then we knew we had to make a step offensively, and uh, we've done that. So. So, you know, it's part of the season. You have to do those things. And and uh, it just took us a little bit longer to get it going. But really proud of this team. I, I didn't see this coming this quickly uh, in five games, getting to this point. But we've, we've made a huge jump, obviously. And then a quick follow-up um, on Hakeem. You know, he, he had some big plays on the drive um, to get you guys up seven, and then he hit that three-pointer. Um, you know, this time last year, he, you were just trying to, like, fit him into the rotation and kind of get him comfortable. Just where have you seen the biggest growth from him? Toughness. He's physically tougher. He's mentally tougher. He's tired of me yelling at him about being soft. And um, his confidence is growing. Uh, I started playing him at point, and uh, he's been great with it. Uh, players love him, respect him, but the, and they're encouraging him to play with more toughness. But he stepped up, made a three early, shot another three right before half that looked good. And then made the, you know, like you said, the big layup, which was a tough shot. Um, but he's been working on that. You've been seeing it coming in practice. And then the big three late, um, which was terrific. So he's a big time shooter. We recruit him because of shooting. And we recruit him because he was a great passer. And it's kind of all coming together now. So it's good to see. And then, you know, Dante wasn't very good for a long time. And then all of a sudden, Dante was really good the last six, six minutes of the game. <clears throat> We needed him to be for us to pull away like we did. Emily Giambolvo from the Washington Post. Hey, Mark. I was going to ask about Hakeem and Dante, but um, I Can guess. I answer that? <laughs> you want a little more on Dante? What? You want me to give you a little more on Dante? Yeah, I guess I'm just curious about his all-around game with what he was able to do rebounding and, and passing, yeah. um, even if he wasn't you know, scoring at a really high level. It's funny, he, he's, he's, he can be just a, a great passer and then sometimes he can just lock out and not know, you know, who we're playing or what day it is. But uh, today when he was locked in, uh, he was a great passer. 
I thought where he was the best is boxing out because Malik Hall last year when we played here, he knocked Dante on his butt first two plays of the game. And Dante wasn't having any of that today. So uh, he got one rebound. I swear his head was right by the rim, Dante. So he came to play. He was physical and had to be um, physical uh, for us. And I thought all our guys, I thought our big wings helped us rebound and, and uh, we call it gang rebounding. And we had four or five guys going after it. And so it's all, all a step, but Dante, yeah, Dante, we just kept saying, come on, Dante, you got to get it going. You got to get, get, get something going offensively. And then he got hit in the head and we were all screaming at him. And I think the hit in the head kind of got him going. He made some big plays for you. He made the three, hit the really tough jump hook in the lane. Then he got the assist to Akeem. So, you know, we expect Dante to do that for us, but I thought his defense and rebounding was terrific. Andy Casco, Washington Times. Hey, Mark, uh, in your eyes, is Darren Marcel the, the best defender in the conference? Yeah, I don't think about it. I know he's, I don't, it's funny because I, I know we're starting to do some things to get some things out there to talk about him. <clears throat> and I haven't really just looked at the league and said, all right, who's the best defender? But I, he could be. And, um, because he's not only a great defender, he's a smart defender. So like, and he can play physical, he can guard a, he can guard a four, he can guard a point guard. He allows us to do a lot of things. And then his leadership on defense has been outstanding. Um, hell, I forgot I had him on the bench over there. We were playing so well, I had him out, which was great. He got to rest about four minutes there in the second half because uh, Jarius was playing so well. Um, but no, I really have to look at it. Um, you know, if I'm allowed to vote for him, he'll get my vote as best defensive player, but I don't know how exactly how it works. And, you know, we'll see, you know, um, we got two more games to go and hopefully he can continue to make a statement. And just to follow up real quick. I mean, you said he didn't practice all week. Was that his decision uh, to play today or did he kind of leave that up to him on how he felt? It was his decision. The doctors cleared him um, to play. He had two opinions, first opinion, second opinion to two excellent doctors. And um, there was no damage to the shoulder. He was just sore. And we just kept resting him. Friday, he shot. Yesterday, he, on, we were doing a defensive drill. He went up, and his arm kind of got pulled back a little bit. So we just set him out the rest of practice. And normally, that doesn't happen. Nor, don't normally, Daryl, you know, practices. He was going to do a third, uh, you know, maybe half the practice. He did like a third of it. And he just kept saying, Coach, don't worry about me. I'm mentally tough. I'll be in good enough shape to play. And he was right. So I think he's kind of, as a senior, he's earned the right to do things like that. And, you know, I lose sleep over things. I was like, please, God, just let's, don't let Daryl get hurt today if he plays. Just get him through it. And we'll rest him till Wednesday. And hopefully it's stronger. He'll get treatment tonight. He'll get treatment a few times tomorrow. He's going to get some more work done on it. And hopefully Wednesday it's even stronger. We'll go to uh, Alif Kareem, WDBM. Coach, you already mentioned this earlier, but defensively, you know, you mentioned yesterday how it was important that Michigan State didn't come out fast, and it seems like you guys did exactly that going 11-0 and to start off the game. How, how pleased were you with the performance overall, and just do you feel like this was your most complete game till, till date? Yeah, I, I, was, I was worried, you know, Sunday to Sunday. I gave them three days off. We practiced three days. I was worried how we'd start, but you know what? I could tell the guys were taking care of their business on day off, relaxing, getting their bodies right. And then when we practiced, we practiced hard. So we made shots early. Daryl made one, Akeem made one. Uh, that helped, but our defense was shot out of a cannon uh, at the start of the game. And, and uh, we were really good defense. We probably for 36 minutes today. So is it our best all around performance? We've had some really good ones. I just think offensively, we've gotten a lot better. Um, you know, that's really what's made us seven turnovers against this team. They only have four points in transition. Um, you know, we just keep working on the things. We just keep working on us. We really do. We just, this is what we're going to do. Just keep working on us. And our guys have gotten better at that. And so, therefore, we're getting better as a team. All right, Coach, I appreciate your time. We'll have uh, Eric Ayala, Daryl.